One of the most misunderstood elements in performance nutrition is how we handle sugar. In the enhanced system, we don't avoid carbohydrates. We optimize how the body utilizes them. My name is Dr. Tony Huge, and I lead the research and protocol design at the Enhanced Human Optimization Division, where we develop biochemical strategies that support peak performance without relying on outdated dietary models. Today, I want to walk you through the science and application of Slim Pills, a protocol designed to enhance nutrient partitioning by mimicking insulin function without suppressing natural production. Section 1 The Problem with Sugar Utilization. Carbohydrates, and specifically glucose, are a primary fuel source for muscle tissue. The challenge isn't sugar itself, it's what the body does with it. When glucose is efficiently transported into muscle cells, it supports performance, recovery, and growth. But when that process is impaired, then glucose is stored as fat, energy levels crash, and long-term insulin sensitivity declines. Modern diets, metabolic damage, and poor insulin signaling create a scenario where sugar is often misrouted. That's where SLIN comes in. Section 2. SLIN as an Insulin Mimetic Slin pills are built on the concept of mimicking insulin's effects without directly increasing insulin itself. Insulin is an anabolic hormone. It shuttles glucose and nutrients into cells, but chronic insulin elevation can lead to insulin resistance. Slin pills uses ingredients that stimulate insulin's transport function while avoiding the suppressive risks. Let's explore these key pathways. Section 3. Pathway Targets and Ingredients AMPK activation. Berberine and alpha-lipoic acid activate AMPK, an energy sensor in the cell that increases glucose uptake and fatty acid oxidation. This improves metabolic efficiency and promotes insulin sensitivity. Insulin sensitization. Cinnamon extract and bitter melon help the cells become more responsive to insulin and glucose signals. This enhances GLUT4 translocation, the mechanism by which glucose is brought into the muscle cells. Glycemic regulation. Apple cider vinegar supports glycemic control by slowing carbohydrate digestion and improving postprandial blood sugar levels. Together, these ingredients replicate insulin's downstream effects without the hormone itself. Section 4. GLP modulation. SLIN also supports GLP-1, a hormone that improves insulin secretion, delays gastric emptying, and it reduces appetite. Many users report reduced cravings and steadier energy, not because of SLIM being a stimulant, but because it improves blood glucose handling and satiety signaling. This contributes to better compliance with performance-based eating strategies, especially those that include strategic carbohydrate intake. Section 5. Application Protocol SLIN is best used prior to meals high in carbohydrates, especially when nutrient uptake is desired, such as post-workout and refeed windows. The standard dosage is taken 15 to 30 minutes before the meal. It supports glucose disposal, stabilizes energy output, and reduces the chance of post-meal blood sugar spikes. Section 6. Stacking Considerations SLIN works well with a broader performance enhancement stack. For example, MK677 raises growth hormone and enhances nutrient retention. A testosterone base supports muscle glucose uptake. Estrogen, in a balanced amount, improves GLUT4 efficiency and supports prostaglandin signaling. SLIN complements these compounds by ensuring the carbohydrates consumed around these compounds are utilized correctly. Cortisol and Recovery Integration Cortisol management is another relevant factor. While cortisol is catabolic in excess, it also plays a role in nutrient release and inflammation control. Phosphatidylserine can be used to modulate cortisol, keeping inflammation within the adaptive range and supporting proper recovery. When used alongside SLIN, this creates a balanced hormonal environment for muscle retention and recovery. Section 8. Practical Example Here's how this works in practice. Take SLIN before a high-carb post-workout meal. That meal includes fast-digesting carbs and protein. You may already be running MK677 or a base SARM. The glucose from your meal is now directed into muscle cells, not into fat. The result? Better pumps, better glycogen retention, more stable energy, and reduced fat accumulation. Section 9. Why this matters. Many people fear sugar because their body handles it poorly. But with protocols like SLIN, we're not guessing, we're guiding. The enhanced model isn't about restriction, it's about precision. 
We don't cut carbs, we control them. We don't chase performance, we engineer it. Slin isn't a magic pill, it's a tool, one that fits within a system of intelligent nutrient timing, hormonal support, and metabolic targeting. If you've been training hard and not seeing results, or you're struggling with energy swings, carb sensitivity, or flat muscle response, then this might be the missing link. As always, evaluate context and stack responsibly. If this explanation helped connect some dots, then feel free to leave a comment. We're building performance through education, not mystery. Progress should be engineered, not hoped for. And if you want to keep unlocking protocols like this, then subscribe to the channel and join our school program for exclusive access to the enhanced systems.